remember on the sixth visit, one and a half orbits ago? Episode six? War? The one where there were explosions all around that enclosed sea because of a dispute over administrative boundaries. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, how has that progressed? Well, the borders all look pretty much exactly the same as they did in orbit an half ago. Uh. Around 500 people a day have died every day since, and the scale of weapons and explosions has been escalating nearly as quickly. 500 people a day? And the administrative boundaries are still the same? More or less. You what? Nobody really thinks the final settlement will look much different. They can keep sacrificing 500 people a day, every day, for as long as they want, and the borders will be much the same. Uh, why? The people building and exporting the weapons are making enormous amounts of credit and passing on some of it to the politicians who decide to use them to fuel a conflict on the other side of the world. They think they can weaken their enemies. <laughs> exactly. Were there some warlord there in the big continent who tried to stop the madness by marching on the capital? What happened to him? His aircraft fell out of the sky a few days ago. Maybe a missile or an assassination. It's the kind of thing that happens a lot to people who challenge the head administrator of the large continent. Whoa, he really likes to administrate, I guess. He does get credited a very, very large fee. <laughs> we won't fall out of the sky, will we? <laughs> He has intercontinental ballistic missiles, but his powers don't reach this far into orbit. <laughs> All of the Earthlings' weapons are aimed at themselves. <laughs> Mad. And meanwhile, on the other side of the world, prior administrator of this middle part of this continent has been charged with more felonies than all <laughs> their other prior head administrators put together. <laughs> the photograph of the official record of his arrest has already become a meme. <laughs> with both sides in their domestic unrest printing it on t-shirts and using it as an icon and a flag, <laughs> saying it proves that everything they said about the man <laughs> was right. So either he's guilty <laughs> and justly charged, or he's been unjustly persecuted for political reasons. <laughs> Depending what order they stack the memes in their heads. <laughs> he's both a political outsider and also an actual president. <laughs> He may be leading the country from inside a prison cell. <laughs> well, presumably he would pardon himself. <laughs> Mad. Their primitive brains aren't really prepared for memes this dank. It's disrupting the entire societal concept of truth. And all of it, the memes, the election, the war. The rebellion, the assassinations and mugshots and reporting, it's all just distracting them from the main thing. Their world is burning. The 30 billion tons of carbon dioxide that they have pumped into the air this orbit and every prior orbit has warmed up their planet so much that its cold northern forests are tinder dry. 150 billion square meters have burned, pushing yet more carbon dioxide into the air. <laughs> this alone has increased the industrial emissions by 1% <laughs> for the orbit. <laughs> so the more carbon dioxide there is, the otter it gets, and so it goes on fire more, releasing yet more carbon dioxide. 
It's a fascinating feedback loop and just one of many. And it'll remain in the air, warm in their world, even if they stopped all new emissions, this very orbit. They got no brakes and yet they won't even let go of the accelerator. That's right. So, while their world is literally on fire, they have leaders that are just corrupt criminals or that straight up murder their rivals or use the legal challenges against them as weapons in a mimetic war, distracting everyone from the flames. <laughs> yes. So much so that a third of the population don't even understand why carbon dioxide concentration increases the thermal capacity of the air they breathe. <gasps> or they just sense the thermal capacity with their lungs. No, it seems not. They're a very primitive species. It's hard to see how even a well-functioning administration could plan a way to survive the economic and environmental perils ahead for this planet. And instead, they've got this chaotic all-out mimetic warfare that's convinced a third of the people to ignore the flames and instead war <laughs> over each other's gender <laughs> or administrative boundaries. I can't wait to see how it ends. Everyone at home is going to be so curious to get updates. They'll be signing up to the mailing list and subscribing for notifications. There's going to be so much reblogging. <laughs>